What is good guys and welcome back and today you're going to be seeing Carolina Panthers franchise mode and we are continuing in the season we are three and one which means we played barely any games uh, so far we only played four games in the season which means we have a while to go a ways to go two games in this episode and I'm gonna waste no time at all you guys are seeing right here that well you're seeing I try to make trades once again and it did not work no trade worked for me in this episode so we have no trades and we're going into these two games with the same exact team that we've had from the previous four games. Now, you guys need to comment down below and let me know if you want to see anybody else join our team or someone leave our team. I'm potentially thinking about getting rid of Cam Newton. You're going to be like, why? Well, a lot of you guys did say get rid of Cam Newton and get like Patrick Mahomes, um, Aaron Rodgers, which is going to be hard, but maybe Patrick Mahomes. I can see that possibly. So let's jump to these games and you guys will see why. I'm thinking that, but we're taking on the Washington Redskins in this game, and already Cam Newton is scrambling down the field, and this is the one thing that he is very, very good at. He has speed, he's strong, and he's very fast, which means he's going to be able to get down the field and potentially break tackles, not fumble, things like that. And you guys are seeing on second and seven, look who was wide open, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas is wide open down the field, which means that is a big pickup. Two for two for Cam Newton on the day. 46 yards and he is starting out very well so maybe I won't trade him maybe he's hearing everything we're saying all the comments he's reading and he's like you know what I gotta step up and once again a very good pass Greg Olson in the end zone and just like that we are up early on in this game and Cam Newton is three for three early on so maybe we don't need to trade him you guys were also saying Christian McCaffrey trade Christian McCaffrey if you guys really want that, let me know. Oh, I should have been a pick. But let me know. And then also comment down McCaffrey, trade him four, and then put blank. If you want Derrick Henry, I've seen a lot of Derrick Henry, uh, Leonard Fournette, Todd Gurley. Just let me know, and I'll try to make the trade happen if you guys really want McCaffrey gone. Um, but you guys are seeing, though, the Redskins, they're moving down the field, and Chris Thompson is a very good receiving back out the backfield. So we're going to have to stop him. And there he goes again, Thompson. He can catch and he can also move. He's very agile, very elusive. And just like that, a 20 yard rush. They're on the five yard line. It's not looking good for us. Come on, defense wins championships and nobody's there. Nobody's there. So just like that, the game is tied up at seven apiece. Second and 13, we have a long way to go. And Cam Newton said, I'm just going to throw the ball. And he finds Greg Olsen wide open. There he goes. And he is running down the field, strutting, playing hard, playing like the beast he is. Four for five, 101 yards and a touchdown already for Cam Newton. Let's go, man. Let's continue to ball out. And oh, oh. Wasn't I saying that? Cam doesn't fumble for us. He's reliable while he fumbled already. Okay, so hopefully this is not a start of something bad. But there goes Adrian Peterson. He's spinning, breaking tackles. Oh my gosh, can we take him down? Adrian Peterson is a beast. He knows what he wants, and that's to win this game. We can't let that happen. Second and 11. There goes AP again, and he is breaking every single first tackle. I don't get it. I mean, I know he can do that. He's a beast, but still, I have beast players on my defense. Third and seven, Alex Smith says, I'm going to throw the pick. Luke Hakeley doing what he does best, and that's like number seven, maybe, eight of the year already. One tackle and one pick today. The man is a monster, and he's the captain of our defense. There goes McCaffrey, and I know you guys want him gone, but look at that speed. Two rushes, seven yards. Our offensive line is not that good. So maybe that is a reason why we should get rid of him and get maybe like a power back with some speed. But he's very good receiving as well. DJ Moore across the middle, and this guy is really good. I'm happy you guys wanted me to keep him. I actually tried to trade him away not knowing how beast of a player he is. And also, he's from the University of Maryland. And I'm from Maryland, so got to represent right there. A deep bomb and a... An interception. Kim is not accurate. Overthrowing people. 
I mean, you got Michael Thomas. All you have to do is just throw it up there. That's it. Throw it up there. And he'll go and get it. But you're overthrowing people and stuff like that. And it's getting annoying. One interception and one fumble on the day for Cam Newton. All right, so on third and ten, second quarter, can we do something, please? Interception right here. Pick Landon Collins. The defense will always, that's a face mask too, but the defense will always step up. The defense is going to, for the most part, put us in good spots to score. Going to give the offense the ball back as much as possible. We already have two picks on the day. But it's up to this offense right here. There goes Greg Olson, and Greg Olson does find a, uh, a lane in between the numbers in the middle of the field. So that's going to leave us some time for a field goal to go into the second half with the lead. Kick will be up right here, and it's definitely going to be good. So on second and seven, we are now up by three. Ten to seven is the score going into the second half of this game. Rate that first half, by the way, and don't forget to let me know about Cam Newton. Does he go or does he stay? And if he goes, who should he go for? The cap, not McCaffrey. Uh, Mahomes. Rodgers is impossible. Maybe Russell Wilson. Somebody that can scramble. And look at this. That is what I need and that is what I like to see. DJ Moore. Special teams. Special teams. Special teams. He's doing special things, and that is scoring off the kickoff. 17-7 to will be the score, and we are in a very good spot to hold this lead. You guys know we don't blow big leads, so hopefully that's the case again. Smith across the middle, and why is Crowder wide open? We're giving him way too much space. Come on now. Smith. Oh, my gosh. Why is fumble is goal? Like I said, defense wins championships, and our defense is stepping up. We have all the chances to do stuff on offense because we get the ball back so many times. And I have... That was my fault. I'll say that. That wasn't necessarily Cam's fault, but he could have just lobbed it a little bit better. Two picks on the day. Cam Newton. There it goes. AP. And Adrian Peterson is trucking everybody out of his way. 11 rushes, 48 yards for Adrian Peterson. We're going to continue, though. First and goal. Let's get a pick right here. And, ooh, that's way too easy. Jordan Reed was there. Tippy towing in the end zone right in the corner. And he did, yes, score a touchdown, which means now they are catching up once again. The defense is setting us up. But when we go on offense, the offense messes us up so the defense has to step up and they're stepping up but you know what i'm saying it's like we can't be setting up or setting us up like that once again you guys are seeing we do nothing on offense so the defense has to come on the field and really try and and stop the redskins right now first and ten. Oh my yo yo AP, relax. Relax. Fourth quarter, and we're only up by three. That's a pick. Luke Keekley. Two picks and three tackles on the day. He is my favorite middle linebacker to use. I mean, he is a 99 overall, but, or 98 or 99. Oh my gosh, wide open. Michael Thomas uses speed. Well, he doesn't necessarily have a lot of speed, but he does have one of the best hands in the NFL. I mean, throw the ball to him and he will catch it. And you guys just see it. Newton is over 200 yards today, but he has three picks. So it's not looking that good at all. And come on. Whoa. On the one yard line. Another great catch by Michael Thomas. We got to figure out how to get into the end zone right here. And on third and goal, we are going to just scramble into the end zone. And Cam Newton will pick up a rushing touchdown today. And honestly, in any way or any form of 
touchdowns on offense, I will take it. I will take a scramble. I will take a pass. I will. I don't care. I want the points, and we need to win. Smith, pick no. Doxson is gone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just. It's just way too easy. Man. It's just way too easy. Terrell Davis Sr., he's obviously a vet, one of the um, captains on our defense, but he's old. And I might want a new outside linebacker as well. And look at that again. That's exactly where, see, that is exactly where Terrell Davis would be, or should be, I should say. He's slow. He's old. And is he able to keep up with these fast slot receivers all the time and stuff like that? It doesn't seem like it, but... We're not going to just criticize him off one performance. And there goes McCaffrey. And McCaffrey's picking up yards. And McCaffrey, that's what we needed. The first down. He's not having himself one of his best days today. But that first down was crucial. There goes Cam Newton. And sometimes. Ooh. Face mask. Sometimes. If we can't get the pass going, we're going to have to run with it. And that's why I need a mobile quarterback. Because not all the time we're going to get that pass going. And he's not the most accurate, obviously. So here we go once again. We're going back at the end zone. And just like that, Juju Smith. Juju Smith. Juju Smith. Let's go. My shoulder again. I hurt my shoulder, guys. I don't know. I think I was, like, lifting weights and I hurt my shoulder or something. But it's kind of sore. But you guys just seen we're up by 10. Two minutes. 10 seconds left in this game. And there goes Geis. And... This man struck through my whole team like the Hulk. This man legit struck through my whole squad like he was the Hulk. But on third and ten, you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm throwing to Michael Thomas because you know Michael Thomas is a beast. And you know Michael Thomas legit, like, he don't drop passes. We're going to keep going, though. We're going to keep going, and we are going to potentially have our worst rushing game today honestly it's not our best effort we do get a lot of points on the board um but it came with a lot of turnovers three picks and a fumble for cam newton that's four turnovers just by our quarterback alone not good man he had two touchdowns 275 yards 15 for 22 he did get over 100 qbr but the three interceptions is not good. He also had that fumble, seven rushes for 39 yards. McCaffrey, 13 rushes for 34 yards. He also did not have himself a good day at all. So it's been a struggle, really. It's really been a struggle. Cam Newton, I mean, um, Adrian Peterson, though, he's been having himself a really good day today, but they lost, so it don't matter how much stats you have if you lose. Michael Thomas, 107 yards, and then 83 yards for Greg Olson and a touchdown. So Greg Olson, Thomas, and even Juju played very, very good. Well, tackles, Ruben Foster led the tackling with uh, six, I believe, sacks. Deron Payne had a sack, and then interceptions. Luke Keekley had two, and Landon Collins had one. And Landon Collins had a sack. So Landon Collins had two tackles, a sack, and an interception. A very good job from him on defense. Now, game number two of this episode, and the last game of the episode, you guys are already seeing it. You guys are already seeing Luke Keekley stepping up on defense, and that's exactly what we need because, to keep it a bean, our offense is like the, it's the weak point of our, of our team. So we need to get the ball as much as possible. Cam Newton is struggling, and you guys are seeing. again but guys comment down below and let me know who do i trade for Cam Newton? i mean he's one of my boys you know like i like him as a quarterback one of my favorite quarterbacks in the nfl but he's not doing it for us right now he's really not 
that's really all he's good for is like this scramble right now. And even when I was scrambling last time, he fumbled and it wasn't even a big hit. So that's the struggle. But on first and goal, once again, you guys are seeing Cam Newton drops back and he is going to scramble in the end zone. He does fight through two, three people. He's a big guy, he's a beast, he's strong. And he gets a rushing touchdown today to put us on the board. So I don't mind that, but he's a quarterback and I can't have him taking a lot of hits, first of all. Second of all, oh wow. Go ahead. Oh, I should've got more yards right there. But that was a first rush from McCaffrey. One rush, 10 yards on the day. Here he goes again. Cam Newton gets good blocking and he's going to truck his way. Past the first down marker, five rushes, 31 yards, a touchdown. And don't forget that fumble, though. We want to we wanna praise our players, but we also want to make sure they under... But he makes that pass. It's like... He, inaccurate on the easy passes, but then the hard passes on the run, moving to the right, throwing it, slinging it underhand. He's making them dark passes. What's up with the inconsistency? That's a good pass. And no, it's... Cam. Throw it with more power. More... Look at that underthrown. Is his shoulder hurting? My shoulder is hurting, and I know if I was left-handed because my left shoulder, I could not, I can't barely lift my arm right now. Like, going like this hurts. So, I don't know what's going on with him. And then... Oh, man. This is not looking good at all. A great... I don't even know what to say. Finally, he connects with a pass. It was a wide open Greg Olsen. I hope he would connect with that pass. But what else am I supposed to do, honestly? Like... It's not like he's making difficult throws. These guys are wide open, and look what he's had. Oh, my gosh. The offensive line's not blocking. Nobody's getting open right now. Cam doesn't have time, but at the same time, when he does have time, he's making terrible throws. It might be time to part ways, but look at that field goal. That was a rocket by Graham Gano. and uh, he gave us three points right there. So the score is 14-10, to 10 and we are down, um, but we still have faith. We know our defense is one of the best, if not the best defense in the NFL. So we're going to keep, I told you. One of the best, if not the best in the NFL. And Terrell Davis Sr., I apologize for talking trash about you, saying how slow you were. You got some wheels. You were moving right there. And you can definitely catch the ball. I apologize for talking trash. But look at this. Back in the end zone. And finally, we... Juju Smith, come on, man. Step it up. That was my fault. I forced that one. There was three people there. I should have threw the ball a little bit earlier. It still might not even work, but this is not looking good at all. That's a, ooh, that's a good catch right there. Good pass. Under a minute left in the second quarter, and you guys are seeing Philly right now. They are trying to potentially... Score before the half is over. Carson Wentz said, I'm going to throw it into traffic. And Zach Ertz is there for the catch. They have one timeout left. And there's no way they're going to be able to get this right here. No way. No. Woo. That made me nervous. Okay, fourth and inches. You guys are seeing. McCaffrey, what you going to do? McCa McCaffrey, what you going to
Down by 11. And honestly, we might need to make a, a trade. Again, obviously. But you guys have been telling me two main things to do. Look at that overthrown pass. You guys have been saying. Cam Newton, McCaffrey, trade. And it might have to be done, honestly. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't put up with this. We have people wide open, but I'm afraid to make the pass. So I throw it out of bounds or just chuck it because it's not going to work. So what's happening now? Cam Newton is now benched. And we're bringing in our backup quarterback. So here goes McCaffrey. And McCaffrey is responding well by breaking a tackle. Four rushes, 42 yards on the day. And our backup, potentially. Wow, that could have been a pick. But potentially, Nick Mullins. Is he going to bring us back? Third and goal. No turnover. No turnover. No turnover. No turnover. Okay, that's fine. We'll get three points right here. 21 to 13. Potentially will be the score. And yes, it will be. Yep, it will be. Okay, so Cam Newton is now the backup. I'm not saying he's not coming back in, but for now he cannot be in the game. And hopefully, because I took him out, he sees that he is on the hot seat. And if I bring him back in, he will play a little bit better. Pick! Luke Kuechly. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, the defense stepping up. And the defense giving the offense a very good field to work with. Third pick on the day for Luke Kuechly. Number three. What a beast. Mullins is right here, and what a pass. There goes Michael Thomas fighting his way, and he does get to the two-yard line. Mullins is two for three, 36 yards on the day. So, with that being said, he's going to scramble, and... Maybe I should have just scrambled with him. Kim Newton is back in, y'all. Cam Newton is back in, y'all. Cam Newton is responding from the benching. Right when we benched him, he came over to the coach. He talked to him. He came in. First thing he did, he said, you know what? Let me throw this bomb real quick. DJ Moore was there, and that is what we needed. 21-19, to 19, go for two. Cam Newton's going to scramble it in, and we are going to tie the game. 11 points unanswered. Cam Newton is feeling himself. He's feeling good. There goes McCaffrey once again. And why is he out of position? Why is he out of... Safety. What is going on? Alshon Jeffries is open. What is going on? Zach Ertz is open. What is going on? Why is everybody open? And we're down by two. We can't let Aguilar go. Come on. Stop him. Oh, what a big hit by Landon Collins. Forced that fumble, though, but that was a good hit. A very good hit. Good stop. Okay. If we can hold him at least three points, or at most three points, I will take that. Third and 11. We got to step up right here, and we're still down by two. Carson Wentz throws an incomplete pass, and Brandon Carr was there to break it up from Golden Tate. So, we hold him to three points. There's two minutes left, and you guys are seeing block. Oh, come on. All right. Two-minute drive. Two-minute drill. We're going deep, and look who. Kim Newton finds Michael Thomas. And Michael Thomas is our best receiver. You guys have seen under a minute left, and we do need a touchdown. There goes Cam Newton, and Cam Newton is scrambling, and he's using his speed, fighting for extra yards as well. And we are going to use another timeout, so we have one timeout left. Come on now. Come on now. And there goes DJ Moore, holds on to the ball. Okay, very good. Let's keep going. We have that timeout left, and we're going to save it. And we are going to find... Michael Thomas, spin move, next game. Michael Thomas, spin move, and that is game. And just like that, we are going to be victorious. We're going to go for two, and we're going to scramble in the end zone just like that once again. And Cam Newton, he stepped up, man. He's been playing bad, but in the clutch, he is, I'm not going to lie, he's been stepping it up. Carson Wentz is going to try to bomb the ball down the field. 
and it's not gonna work. Oh, I was like, wait, did somebody catch it? Nope, nobody caught it. Did not work, and we are victorious in two games. Now, a 40 QBR, 9 for 29, 200 yards, three interceptions, and two touchdowns, and he also had a fumble and a rushing touchdown. So three touchdowns total, four turnovers total. 102 yards for Michael Thomas, back-to-back 100-yard -back games. DJ Moore, 83 yards and a touchdown. Zach Ertz also had a touchdown. Juju Smith, three catches and 21 yards. Luke Keekley, 12 tackles, one sack, and three interceptions. That's literally the best game you could have. He's a monster, he's a beast, and he cannot be stopped. I mean, he's the best middle linebacker, maybe the best defensive player this year. I think so. He should win Defensive Player of the Year. You guys are seeing Juju's going up. Andre Hall's going up. So some players are playing very well. And because of that, they are getting their stats. DJ Moore has been having himself a great season as well. Um, NFC Defensive Player of the Week is Luke Keekley with 12 tackles, one sack, and three interceptions. So you guys are seeing we are number one in the division. Five and two, or five and one. Falcons are second at five and two. We got to continue to win. But comment down below and let me know, do you guys want to see Cam Newton and Christian McCaffrey get traded? It is up to you. I will try my best to do it if you guys want to. Um, but let me know. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for way more coming out soon. I'll see y'all later. I am.